Joining me now is Pennsylvania Congressman Dan Muser, a member of the House Financial Services and Small Business Committees. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. So what's your take on this? Is Congress going to need to pony up more money, or is there enough money in the infrastructure package? Yeah, great, great to be with you, uh, Maria. Yeah, it was kind of outrageous immediately for Biden uh, to uh, express in this tragedy the idea that he's going to use federal funds to pay for the it in entirety. I mean, you know, he doesn't refer to it as the American taxpayer dollars on anything. You know, the first reaction, in fact, the only reaction, just tends to be to spend. Look, this was a this was a. a, a a tragedy. We, we 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 all saw it. People people lost their lives, and it is a very important port. As you just mentioned a little while ago, a lot of Pennsylvania's coal is shipped out, out of there. Twenty five percent automobiles, natural gas. So it needs to be corrected. But you know, this is a Singapore flagship number one. So what uh, responsibility are they going to have? At least Janet Yellen is is thinking a little bit out of the box, rather than just spend the taxpayers' money and and see what. Insurance funding that there would be, and we got to get on that. We just yeah. can't take the easy route all the time and just try to spend the taxpayers' money. And something else I'll add on that TNI bill last year, there was four hundred billion dollars in excess. I mean, that's why I didn't vote for it. You know, nine hundred billion was one thing, one point two five was another, three hundred fifty billion extra. And Maryland, by the way, got almost five billion dollars in addition to its standard. TNI uh, uh, funding. So, you know, they, they, they've got the money. Yeah. Well, um, and, and, uh, I'm glad you mentioned be... all of this because this is exactly what I was referring to. I mean, we've been sitting here for three years debating all of this spending and all of these packages right. that this president has signed into law. I spoke yesterday with the former acting transportation secretary who said, we don't need Congress involved. We've already uh, uh, appropriated money and it's in that infrastructure plan that President Biden signed into law. Watch this. <clears throat> We don't need a new supplemental for this bridge. We are awash in infrastructure money from the president's infrastructure bill in 2021. Huge amounts of money that Congress has appropriated. We should repurpose and divert some of that money. I mean, isn't that the reason that the president was spending all of this money to have it on hand? Now we need it. That's right. There's, there's no thought, just spend. Right, that, that's that's their motto. I mean, at least even pull from some of the ridiculous EV uh, expenditures that, that are planned as well. I mean, billions in, in EV charger ports and, and all. Uh, but but again, Maryland received the money. Actually, it was closer to seven billion. Uh, Pennsylvania received uh, almost fourteen. Uh, and you know, the, these funds need to be need to be utilized for. Uh, for, for modernization purposes and certainly in, in repairing of, of, of bridges. Uh, this is a crisis situation, but it needs a plan, not a knee-jerk spend reaction. Yeah, I want to get your take on the new Fox News polls that we've been reporting. It shows former President Trump with his biggest lead yet against Joe Biden. In a head-to-head -head match, Trump is up five points on Biden nationally, his biggest lead yet uh, on a national one-on-one. -on -one. Biden's re-election campaign focuses on Pennsylvania. Uh, they're opening a headquarters. Uh, the campaign is opening a headquarters in the Lehigh Valley, and they've got other offices throughout the state. Congressman, your reaction? Yeah. Well, you know, um, I know Lehigh Valley very well, just outside of my district. We got a pretty hot uh, uh, Republican primary taking place there. Look, there's there's literally huge enthusiasm for, for, for President Trump. There's a tremendous amount of Biden buyer's remorse. Um, and, and people look back from 2019 uh, at the uh, successes of the Trump campaign. And, Maria, what's really important to note is the demographics have shifted since 2020. We've actually, Republicans have picked up 200,000 new registrants. Democrats have lost 200,000. So to put it uh, more accurately, there are 400,000 more Republican registra registered voters than there were in 2020 in, in 24. I see. So that's one thing. But, but we've got some major initiatives, a lot of them around mail-in ballots. we got an initiative to protect, protect the ballot. I'm on President Trump's leadership team. Um, you know, look, success uh, in 24 runs through Pennsylvania. Hmm. We know that. We are prepared. Uh, they're setting up an office. You know what? We've got 67 offices set up, and they're, um, they're, they're just warming up. So you think President Trump can win Pennsylvania? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, he's ahead right now. Yeah. Uh, we, that is my 
only goal for, for, for 24, yeah. uh, and along with Dave McCormick. And we have other things. We've got these other great candidates. Dave McCormick running for U.S. Senate. We've got some statewide seats for Treasurer Stacey Garrity, Tim DeFore. Right. So we got a lot of things going our way. And we're, and, and, but we're not taking anything for granted. We're, yep. we're going to do everything we possibly can do to win Pennsylvania.